Sri Ramnath Thakur is our village insurance agent, smart and agile like a soldier. This smartness comes natural to him, for after all, it was only on retiring from the Indian Army that he became an insurance agent. As a soldier, he defended the frontiers of our country, and now, as an insurance agent, he is safeguarding the financial future of his fellow countrymen. The areas of operation may be different, but the sincerity of purpose and dedication remain the same. Sri Thakur made his first acquaintance with the Life Insurance Corporation during his army tenure. The time for retirement was approaching fast when a representative of the Life Insurance Corporation came to visit his unit. He informed them about a special rehabilitation scheme for retiring junior commissioned and non-commissioned officers. He said, that this scheme had been specially prepared for the benefit of all ranks equivalent to JCOs and NCOs of all three services, the Army, the Navy and the Air Force. The selection of suitable men for this training is the responsibility of the unit commander. It is based on a close scrutiny of their service records and a personal interview in order to assess their aptitude, their capabilities, and their interests. In the services, discipline and dedication to duty almost become a habit, and these are the very qualities that help them as insurance agents to serve their fellow men with devotion and enthusiasm. The selected men are trained for life insurance work in a scientific manner. Training is imparted by experienced instructors of the corporation at specially established centers. The LIC started the scheme with a view to creating a strong, stable and dedicated class of life insurance agents. In the world of today, Selling of LIC policies is an organized occupation. To be able to make a good living through this, it is essential to have a proper knowledge of life insurance, and this is provided in the training period prior to retirement. During this period, the trainees continue to enjoy all the privileges and facilities of army life. The important part of the training schedule is the actual practical experience under the supervision of the instructors. A certain amount of zeal and enthusiasm about his job are a must for an agent. This enables him to persuade people to buy such life insurance policies which alone can take care of their needs. Tactfully yet surely, gradually gaining the confidence of the people, he convinces them of the importance and benefits of life insurance. A prospective life insurance agent who succeeds in selling a policy in the course of the training is duly rewarded with his commission. His income from the army is thus further supplemented.
Having duly completed their training, Sri Thakur and some of his army colleagues were then awarded certificates by the corporation. Bidding goodbye to the army and armed with his certificate, Sri Thakur now advances fearlessly towards his future to traverse pastures new. The soldier who once defended the frontiers of his homeland now plunged himself in the service of his village folk, suggesting suitable LIC policies to take care of their frequent needs. Higher education for the children, family wedding expenses, loans for house construction, means to buy transport and other amenities in the home. LIC has a provision for everything because a policy holder is entitled to ask for loans against his policies. Last but certainly not least, Life insurance leads to compulsory systematic saving in one's youth, which comes in handy as extra pension in the drooping years. Helping the village folk by providing solutions to many of their problems through life insurance, Sri Thakur has today become an essential part of the village, a distinguished and respected social worker. His efforts have contributed towards a tremendous uplift of the village, which can now boast of its own high school, its own dispensary, where trained doctors provide medical help to the sick and suffering. Retired army personnel turned LIC agents often relate their experiences to other retiring soldiers, inspiring them towards a hopeful future. Various occupations are open to them, but perhaps the most promising and satisfying is to safeguard and ensure the financial horizons of their fellow men. We entrust the frontiers of our land to the capable and strong hands of our Jawans and sleep peacefully without a care in the world. In the same way, many of our families entrust their future financial security to the hands of these dedicated soldier agents, thus leading a life free of anxiety and full of contentment.